Hi, this is Claire from Talk About Local and I'm going to show you three simple ways that you can use Facebook within your community. Over half the population of Britain is on Facebook now and many people spend a lot of time on the site, making it a great place to discover and encourage local conversations. First of all, we're going to have a look at pages. Here's the Facebook page for the popular hyperlocal website Visit Horsham. You can see people are leaving comments, promoting local events and asking each other questions. And here's the page for King's Cross. Again, it's been started by a local blogger, our own William Perrin. To start a page of your own, you'll need to be logged into Facebook. At the bottom, to the left of the menu bar, you should see Create a Page. Click that and six page types will load. We'll choose local business or place and you'll see on the drop down box the wide variety of place types you can choose from. We'll choose public places and I'll fill in the details for a street in my town. Click on Get Started. And your page will be created. Once you have a page, you can use Facebook as that page. We'll have a look at that in action now. Go up to Account on the top right, choose Use as Page, and then select the page you want to appear as. I've chosen Talk About Local, and you can see my profile change and my personal notifications will become notifications for the page. You can see who's liking you, and you can look at status updates for pages that you like. If you like an update, you can see how my page has liked it, rather than me personally. All the administrators of the page can appear as that page, and it's a useful way to interact with other local pages. Here you can see how I'm editing the settings of my group to add new administrators. Next, we'll take a look at groups, and this is the Show and Tell group. Groups are ways for people to communicate on Facebook without necessarily having to be Facebook friends. Members can talk to each other and collaborate on documents together. This is a list of hyperlocal groups and pages within the Show and Tell group. Depending on the settings of the group, members can add their friends and people can request a membership. To start a group, again make sure you're logged into Facebook and go to the left of your menu bar. Your group list will obviously be different to mine, but click More and choose Create Group. Give it a title and a privacy settings. You'll need to add a friend, but they can leave later if they want to. Click 
creates and here's our new group. Finally, we're going to have a look at events. So many people now plan their social diaries through Facebook that it is very useful to add a Facebook event to any gathering or digital meeting that you're holding. Friends can invite friends, so it's another good method to spread the word about what you're doing. To create an event, go back to your home page and you should have a link to events on the left. Click that, then click Create an Event. Fill in the details of your event. And when you've done that, press Create. You can change any of the details and add pictures next. So we've looked briefly at three different ways of using Facebook. All of them have the advantage that they don't require you to become Facebook friends with people in order to interact with them. That means you can protect your own privacy by only sharing your personal updates with people you choose to be friends with. Always remember that what you share on Facebook and the internet more widely is up to you and it's important to promote e-safety with people you're working with as well. The Talk About Local website has more information and links about Facebook, so you can always go there if you get stuck. We're finding Facebook really useful because of the sheer numbers of people using it, and we're writing about creative uses that we spot. There really aren't any hard and fast rules, and you shouldn't be afraid to experiment and explore. <laughs>